He's not gonna go anywhere. He's not gonna do any hunt because of it's very hot. You see, the shadow that has been there is not that much nice. He even he's gonna move the big trees around the area to get a lot more cooler. Of course, it buys a lot of energy. It's too hot for him to hunt. Now, one other thing, leopard ones, they make a kill. They can make a kill once, once a week. It can sometimes get a lot more difficult for the leopard to make a kill. Like we have seen him yesterday, the same body condition, even today, still is having eaten nothing. He was hunting the whole night and trying the rest of the morning, up to the late morning like this. Really, it's, it's, it's lot getting sometimes getting more difficult for them to make a kill. Really, for sure, because of the grass are very low and the area is a lot more open. I can see even 100, 200 meters far from where I am because it's a lot more open. Really, of course, even predate, I mean predators, it's getting more more difficult for them to hunt because in, in some ways, a lot, lot more thick and the grass are very tall. It's a lot more easy to make a kill because they can blend into anywhere, in, into any color in the very tall grass, wait for the animal. If you get to see anyone coming from distance, you just pinch off from the, in the game path and lie down from the side. Then it's easy to make a kill because the prey, they can't see that much well because it's very thick. Now the prey they can see very far is their chance to survive. So it's tend to be a lot more difficult for the leopard now and lions to make a kill. He's just licking himself, making himself very clean and nice looking. Although, I mean, they can't swim. Leopard won't swim. Whatever he'll do, he'll groom himself. Really, for sure, it helps quite a lot. You can see the color of the leopard is always clean and beautiful because leopard can able to groom himself wherever he wants to and look so nice. And the tongue are a lot more rough. If there's any dirty or mud or on the patch of the skin, it could be able to remove by the tongue easily and look the way it is. A lot more beautiful. You see, the ears are always following, I mean, falling forward, and you can able to see the black spot behind the ears. It means the leopard is a lot more comfortable vehicles with our present here because it's also almost focusing ahead. Once you see the black mark behind the ears, you know that the leopard is you're not disturbing it. It's focusing, it can hear something from ahead which is coming from my side. But if you don't see that black spot and the leopard is following the ears behind, they're able to adapt the sound from the back, you know that you're interfering quite a lot. So really now, here, we're not interfering. He's a lot more happy with her present. He's a matter there's no much game around in the area. Okay. You can get me here. Try. 
slide? Uh, we are thinking now because time is very hot, not because of our time, we have to close up. It's very hot, the animal is not going to go anywhere. We're going to suck it here until we get here this afternoon. If anything comes here, we might move. There's no guarantee if any predators because it's an opportunity to move and follow that and try to make it tough. But our general feeling and concern, we, it's, we have to leave the leopard in peace. So for myself, Jackson, I hope you enjoy quite a lot with us this morning, seeing leopard and elephant and zebra for the morning. I hope you have a wonderful time with us. For myself, Rob and Jan from the Life Control Center, we just want to say thank you very much. And we are going to shut down for the morning. Until we meet you this afternoon, half past three, in Central Time in Africa, we will be coming here again to check around if the leopard is still here. We'll give you that uh, preference to come and check again. So from us, now it's our time to head back to home. Thank you until we meet you this afternoon. Ciao, ciao.